In this video, we're going to talk about the difference between .com, .org, .expert, .guru. These are examples of top-level domains, and I think we should talk briefly about what is a top-level domain. Well, a top-level domain is the technical term simply for a .com or a .net or a .edu or a .gov. Basically, a top-level domain is a domain.com. So Google's top-level domain is google.com. My top-level domain for Pay It Forward is payitforward.com. And so your top-level domain is going to be yourdomain.com. And there are all sorts of new top-level domains too, like .ninja and .guru and .dog and .pizza. And what happened was all the .coms and the .nets and the .orgs started to be gobbled up by people some of whom own the websites and other people who are just buying them up like real estate so that they can resell them to people either that are legitimate owners of the brands uh, or that uh, you know just end up being interested in that domain name in the future. So one concern I'm sure people will have is, is a .com better than a .guru? Is there something wrong with one of these newer domains like .guru, .expert? This is one of those SEO myths where people think there is, but there really isn't at all. A .com is definitely not better than a dot .guru anymore in terms of Google and how they think of it. However, if you're trying to hand somebody a business card with your website name on it, they're going to be more confused by a dot .ninja than they are by a dot .com. Like it might look strange to them to have, hi, I'm David from, you know, Garden Ninjas. It's my website and my email address is david at garden.ninja. And a lot of people would come back to you and say, is it David at GardenNinja.com? And you say, well, no, it's actually a .ninja. And they're probably going to be a little bit confused by that. So with regard to if is it, if is it better, technically no. But in terms of person to person, maybe yes. But people are getting more used to the idea of other top level domains. So but for, it's safe to say for now that we should really just pick one and move on and, because it's really less important than you think. Yeah, absolutely. We're just going to pick a domain and we're going to move on. Uh, like you said, it's really not that important. We definitely don't want to get stuck here because this is really not something that's going to determine whether you're going to be successful or not, as long as you're not choosing some wacko name that has nothing to do with your topic. And so let's look at the proof that it doesn't matter, right? So John Mueller from Google is a Webmaster Trends Analyst, and there are a lot of people who might you know, say, yo, David, uh, a .com is definitely better than a .guru just because I've heard that from my friend who's a internet expert and he really knows what he's talking about. So let's, I just say, let's go to Google. And it, what he says is, it feels like it's time to reshare this again. There still is no inherent ranking advantage to using the new TLDs. They can perform well in search just like any other TLD can perform well in search. So what they're saying at Google is that it doesn't matter what TLD you choose. What really is going to matter is the content on your website and the other factors that we'll talk about later in this course. 